Uh, the Mary Lloyd is an ancient midwinter tradition that is unique to Wales, which involves a horse's skull on a stick and a group of people going round pubs and people's houses singing and uh, bringing good luck um, over the new year. Track have been really lucky to have funding from the Heritage Lottery Fund and uh, the Arts Council of Wales to develop the Mary Lloyd tradition um, in communities across Wales. So we've been really lucky, we've worked with um, the designer David Pitt to develop a flat pack Mary Lloyd. So um, basically we can use this flat pack um, and sort of teach people, it's a resource in effect to teach people about this ancient Welsh tradition who might not otherwise be able to get hold of a horse's skull. <laughs> Ach chi just plegi reina lan masal ffordd? We've been going around um, schools and local communities and working with people who also do have a Mary Lloyd but teaching them the songs and about the background and the history of the Mary Lloyd just to raise awareness really about this unique Welsh tradition. No. My Mary and Lickard trying Pop to take away. Pop Brown's no good for horses. Pop Brown's do I? Woo! Woo! Oh, sweet, is he? Oh, he likes to stay where he is. Friends. Nice. Friends with anyone with boys. Boys are now with that, then. How are you? Boys are now with that. Boys. Okay, so I'm in Llandeilo at the moment and I've just uh, met up with the Mary Lloyd that are about to set off. And this is Viv here. You've, you've organised this event tonight, is that right? Yes, I've organised, well, it's not very organised, but it's <laughs> as organised as it gets. And, um, we, you know, whoever turns up, turns up and we go with what we've got, really. So tell me a little bit about this tradition then. Is this the first time that you've done this or have you been doing this for a few years? Um, we, we did it with other troops and then moved to Kermarthen from Cardiff. And that meant that we didn't know anyone, so we tried to put things together. And last year, we were invited to a tump park in Llandovery, so we did a few pubs around that and got a few people together. So we had some help from track in order to do a workshop, and that seemed to work, and we got people together. And then um, we decided to put another night in, so we, this is a second one. Now we've done Llandovery and Llandresant, uh, and Llandresant dialogue because we did Clancy Sunday in the middle with another group Excellent. when we didn't have to provide the musicians yes. much less pressure <laughs> what did you think when the Mary Lloyd walked through the door well, we did know they were coming they they called in earlier the week and told us that they were going to come in on Friday night and it's wonderful I think everyone's had a, a really good time I think it's it's different and it's traditional and it's important to keep local traditions going so I think it's been fantastic what did you think when you saw the horse's head walking through the door this evening well it's an excellent thing for uh, keeping things going isn't it D so, did you know what it was at all well I was a bit bemused to, to start with but uh, I think I get the gist of it yeah well I mean Achos, mi oedd yn arfer bod yn y dyffryn tywy, beth bynnag, ond mae wedi marw mas y dynyddoedd. Ond mi'n barch i fel hyn am lot o'r ddysgwyr sy'n gwneud e nawr. So Phil, what's it been like so far underneath that horse's head? Um, boiling hot at the moment, really. Yeah. We had a good response, yeah, as we do every time, but um, it's nice to sit down and then take it off for five minutes, get my breath back and have a drink. Yeah. You do year after year then? Yeah, I've been doing it since um, 2008 now. And I sort of um, adapt it each year and I add more plaques to it. There's some um, embroidery on the cloth and it sort of always changes every year. There's always something different going on. Yeah. He's eating mistletoe as well. Oh, I was going to ask you actually about the decorations on it. I mean, they, are they, they symbolic of something like that? Yeah, there's. Um, there's uh, nine spirals in triple form on the head, painted, and um, I've used the evergreens, uh, holly, ivy, and the calwyd to decorate the Mary for like ancient Druidic symbols and things, so a link to its Celtic past. But we're taking it out in the modern time, but it's always, always, always adapting and evolving. Mary Lloyd, never heard of it in my life. <laughs> So the Mary Lloyd came in 
to the Angel today. What did you think when they walked through the door? Well, I was delighted, really. It's been many, many years since I've even thought about Mary Lloyd. It's not something I've seen physically, but it's something my father used to talk to me about in the 50s. We, 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 I was brought up around here, and Mary Lloyd is very much uh, a big thing in, in Carmarthenshire. It was then, and he used to sort of threaten me with it, really. And then there was, if I didn't believe, behave myself, then Mary Lloyd would surely get you. And he'd describe it as... a. a a white horse that would come out of the mist, but not a real white horse, a ghostly one. And of course, it's to scare the living daylights out of me. So seeing it walk through the door, I was just so delighted to remember this, oh, remember him and this lovely tradition. now with the Mary Lloyd have just finished playing they've gone to have a, a well-deserved drink I think what did you think when when the Mary Lloyd came in this evening oh, I was quite surprised we heard the music uh, coming in from the other room and I got up to have a look through and I saw the the horse coming in and uh, saw the fiddlers playing as well and uh, quite curious to see what it was all about really oh my nice young you well to the dad committee and committed man of that my nice young I don't you to be be when I'm done here in number of them of that on this way to well I'm ready to go but I'm at a hint of the dad on here well there now I thought it was fantastic um, I've lived in the local area all my life and it's the first time I've ever heard about it so uh, it's new to me and it's nice to find out about these things it's very nice it's got, it's got LEDs and flashing lights. It's the same tradition, but it's modernised. But as long as the tradition goes on, that's great. Yeah, I mean, the music and everything. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, um, Great. We go for our best. Well, name. My boy, shake board, plant, and go board. I can let no blame on the board. How do you think this evening's gone so far then? Oh, I think they've received us really well and, you know, everyone has been pleased. We've had no bad reaction and children have even been involved and not cried. People who have never seen the Mary have been thrilled to see us, which is always good. Oh. <laughs> but the Mary has been something cool, I think, and now Mary will be needing the horse box soon. <laughs> We've commissioned the historian Rhiannon Evans to write a short background about what the Mary Lloyd is and we've produced a small booklet that um, community groups and school groups uh, can keep and refer to it whenever they need a reminder of what is the, the Mary Lloyd in its most simplest form. Of course it's important that these community groups make it their own um, and we're, we're keen to see people pushing on and reinventing the tradition but this through this booklet they can get the facts straight and get their background and the history so it's been great it's a really lovely looking book we've worked with a lovely designer as well and using old historical pictures as well as um, some photographs from some of the workshops we've been doing as well so the past two months have been really busy uh, going around the whole country um, delivering workshops in schools and communities
We've worked with over 400 children who've had the chance to learn about the tradition, the history, um, they've made their own Mary Lloyd and as well they've learnt the song. This has all been made possible through the funding of course and also what we've tried to do is make contact with people who are keeping the tradition alive in their local communities. Um, so people who have, you know, the, the tradition bearers in a way. We've been working with them and bringing them into schools so they can, so linking the tradition and the people who are doing it with the, the next generation so that's been really interesting and and we've worked you know with people like Maya Thomas Evans, Hugh Roberts and um, Pat Smith, Viv and Phil and, and a whole load of people have, have come to us with information it's been great I mean when we were putting the book together we called out for pictures of your Mary Lloyd and that was a fantastic way to get the whole of of the country really together to to produce pictures and information about how they do the tradition in their area. One of the things that did um, what was quite interesting um, whilst I've been going around doing workshops with these various different people is to um, learn the different versions of the songs. There's in Dinas Maudoy for example they repeat a line um, which I wasn't aware that they did down in South Wales, for example, and in Llantrisant, they sing a variation on the tune. So it's so important that that also comes across in this project. We want um, local variation to um, remain strong and true. You know, we don't want to just teach a standard version. It, local, localised traditions are also really important. <laughs> I think overall the project's been a massive success. Um, we've worked with over 400 children in communities right across Wales. We've also um, partnered up with some other organisations which has been helped us develop it further, such as Mentor Iaith, Sheer of Flint, the Glen Vivian Art Gallery in Swansea, as well as Irv Gobeth Cymru. So the help of them has been, has been invaluable, really. Um, but one of the things I do hope for next winter now, we've got all these schools and communities who've got these flat packs and hopefully they can develop that tradition year on year now. So we've just introduced it and hopefully it will take on a life of its own. So yeah, we're really grateful to Heritage Lottery Fund and the um, Arts Councils of Wales for enabling this project.